Hi, my name is Randall Loy. I wanted to thank you once again for joining me here on the Infertility Channel. Today we're going to be discussing how to avoid multiple pregnancy in the IVF setting. Lots of people ask me about this. Here are three. Beth from Alberta, Canada. What are my chances for having twins or triplets? Charlotte from Hanover, Massachusetts. How many embryos should go back? And Amita from New Delhi, India. If you only place back one embryo, what are my chances for having twins? Well, I want to start with a bit of a story. This was my license plate in the mid 70s to late 70s in California when I was an undergraduate at UCLA. Fast forward 20 years, my wife and I were undergoing in vitro fertilization procedures and just after our embryo transfer, I went out in the parking lot and found that the doctor's designer license plate was this, test two babies. And I got a little afraid after that because this is plural and we just put back four embryos. And all of a sudden I started worrying about what if not just one took, but what if we had four babies at once? So we kind of were on pins and needles until that pregnancy test a couple of weeks later. Fortunately, in that first cycle, we had one baby. I want to get to the questions in just a second, but you should know that there are about 62 million women of reproductive age in the United States, of whom 12% will seek help for reproductive care. In other words, they're going to be looking to a reproductive medicine specialist. Now, in general, there are about 150,000 IVF procedures performed in this country each and every year which will result in about 50,000 pregnancies and about 60,000 live births. That's a lot of babies. In fact, it's 1% of all the babies born in this country are IVF babies. Now I'd like to get back to the questions. Beth from Alberta, what are my chances for having twins or triplets? In fact, that number is declining year by year by year in IVF programs. And in the best of programs, we're trying to put back only one embryo in the youngest patient. That's called single embryo transfer, and we have an episode coming up about SET, as we call it, elective single embryo transfer. So, in general, if you put back one embryo, the chances for having twins is very low, less than 5% in most programs, usually around 2 or 3%. That kind of answers your question too, Amita, that if we put back one embryo, the chances for twins, and those are identical twins because that embryo can split any time um, until about two weeks after transfer. So about a uh, two or three percent chance, Amita, for twins if we put back one embryo. All right, so Charlotte from Hanover, um, how do you decide how many embryos to put back? Uh, we covered this a little bit on previous episodes, but I wanted to uh, say once again that it's age dependent, it's embryo quality dependent, it's also dependent upon why you've uh, come to the infertility specialist in the first place, what other diseases you might have, and so forth. So many, many uh, factors there, and that is a discussion you have to have with your reproductive medicine specialist. Just because there are known guidelines for the number of embryos to go back, that's a highly personalized decision. So what ways do we avoid multiple pregnancy these days in IVF? There, there are really several ways. One way is we can grow out embryos to the fifth day stage, the so-called blastocyst stage, when that embryo is 100 to 200 plus cells along. Now, as those embryos have developed day by day by day in the Petri dish, they have declared themselves as the most metabolically active, they're, they're the best, the ones that are most likely to implant will be the best appearing embryos five days after the eggs have been harvested. So blastocyst culture and transfer is the number one way. We've already alluded to the fact that elective single embryo transfer, that keeps down the twin triplet quadruplet rate. And finally, and this is being used more and more as well, taking a biopsy of the embryos on day three or now especially on day five of culture and seeing which embryo is genetically the best and just putting back that single best genetically normal embryo. Those are all three ways of keeping down the multiple pregnancy rate in the IVF setting. So my advice to you is to not go to a doctor who has a designer plate that reads test two BBs. You want to go to the doctor who has a license plate test two BB. Okay, that's, that's the message for today. Thanks so much for joining us. Look forward to seeing you back here next week on the Infertility Channel. Be sure to share this video with your friends and subscribe to catch all new episodes each week here on the Infertility Channel. Plus, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. 
I love hearing from you. Comment below or tell me what you want to see on future episodes by sending me an email to comments at infertilitychannel.org. Until next week.